Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new series or new playlist. And in this series or playlist, we will take the sample project requirements or we can understand in a way. We will take the sample case studies. We will develop those case studies. And when, once we develop those case study, you will realize, yes, it is just like a real project work only. Means we will do everything starting from the documentation. Then we will do the development or coding. Then we will do the testing also at the last. Now we will firstly understand the process, how a project works. Now we all know in every project, yes, always we have a customer, customer. Now suppose customer has a requirement. Suppose customer has a dedicated requirement or customer bought some functionality. So it is never the case that customer orally speak on the phone or customer orally communicate that I want this particular functionality or I want this particular requirement. No, customer always, always provide a requirement document. Everything should be documented in a real project. Documentation plays a vital role. It has the equal importance as compared to other things as equally other things. So whenever customer wants some functionality or customer wants some requirement, customer always, always provide the requirement document, requirement document. And in terms of business terminology, many times people will simply, simply use the word business requirement document or they will use the observation BRD, BRD. In real project, many times you will simply receive that term. Have you received the BRD from the customer? So what is BRD stands for? Business requirement document. It is a document which is given by the customer for the requirement, for his or her requirement. It is documented in the form of a document. So that document is called as business requirement document. Now, now it is never the case that customer provide a business requirement document and we technical person start with the coding. Suppose simple example, customer provide three to four lines in the business requirement document. Will we understand that we need to develop this particular thing? No, never. So based upon that business requirement document, or we will understand in a way, customer always, always pass the requirement to which person? Functional person, functional person. So customer always communicate the requirement to the functional person. And who is functional? Word itself is saying a functional person who knows the functions of the system, who knows the business functionalities of the system. So customer always communicate the requirement to the functional person. It means customer always, always pass the business requirement document to which person? Functional person, functional person. Now it is not the case that functional understood the requirement and it is blindly communicate to the technical person. No, documentation always, always plays a vital role. So based upon business requirement document, functional always, always prepare a functional specification. This is how real project work.
so functional always prepare the functional specification or we can say functional always prepare the functional document once the functional specification is prepared then functional connect with the technical person technical person yes it might be a back consultant those who are doing the coding yes so functional always connect with the technical person after preparing the functional specification or document and then this functional specification or document pass on to the technical person means a back consultants now it is not the case once we receive the functional specification we blindly start with the coding this is never the case because we discussed documentation has equal importance in the project so technical always always prepare a technical specification so once you prepare the technical specification and it is approved after that only we can start with the coding we can start with the development now suppose you did the full development suppose firstly you prepare the technical specification then once the technical specification is approved you start with the development you finish with the coding after that yes whatever you developed it will pass on to the functional person functional person so functional is responsible for the whole testing also whatever you develop yes unit testing we need to do yes some test cases we should also run by our own but the whole testing will be done by the functional person once the testing is over then it will pass on to the customer so have you seen functional always always act as a intermediate between the customer and the technical person based upon the requirement functional will prepare the functional specification then functional specification will pass on to the technical person yes once the technical person develop everything after that the complete testing will be done by functional person and after that only it pass on to the customer so functional is a intermediate between the customer and the technical person so this is how a project works suppose we will take a sample requirement and we will see the first business requirement document we will see the functional specification because we need to start with technical specification so we will go for a perception that business requirement document and functional specification both are available and we will start with this particular process means we will go for documentation first then we will start with the development so we will see firstly the requirement what is the requirement given by the customer yes every project has different different format different different format for the documents i just prepare the document by myself suppose what is the requirement from the customer customer is saying we i want a report which displays the sales order based upon creation date and user name customer want a report which displays the sales order for a particular date or user name means customer will give that date and that report will display the sales order for that particular date and customer can check also yes for the for a particular user how many orders are there so customer want a report based upon date and user name customer want a report of sales order now customer is saying yes 
that customer whatever the report is coming customer want a print preview also for those reports just see this is a just a requirement document from the customer can we develop a code based upon that never never it is never the case this business requirement document is passed on to the functional person functional person and functional will prepare a functional specification based upon that business requirement document in that functional specification yes functional will mention yes because functional knows the ultimate functions of the system what is sales order how to create sales order sales order are going into which particular table so functional will prepare a complete functional requirement document functional sorry functional specification or functional document then we will come on to technical specification or technical document in the next video we will start analyzing this functional specification then we will firstly understand the full technical spec full functional specification sorry firstly we will understand the full functional specification then we will develop the technical specification and after that we will start with the coding so that's it in this particular video so what is the summary of the video in this video, we start with the sample project requirement or sample case studies. In any project, customer always give the requirement and customer always provide the business requirement document. document. And that requirement document always pass on to the functional person Functional always prepare a functional specification. That functional specification pass on to the technical person. Technical person or a BAP consultants never blindly start with the coding. They need to prepare the technical specification. Documentation is equally important in every project. Once that technical specification is approved after that only yes we can go for the we can go for the development just think why documentation is important suppose today i am working in a project tomorrow i may or may not in that project if documentation is there any person can refer that document it, it will make others person task easy so that's why documentation always always plays a vital role in every project in the next video we will analyze the functional specification so that's it in this video thank you